GarageBand for Mac comes loaded with more sounds, effects and other audio options than you can shake a big fat rhythm stick at. But chances are you'll want to broaden your sonic horizons at some point. If you're unfamiliar with the process, downloading and installing third-party audio unit plugins to GarageBand may seem like a less than intuitive process. Here's how it works. First off, you'll need to find a plugin that you want to download and install. I'll use Bluecat Audio's excellent freeware pack as an example here. I'd highly recommend you grab this bundle yourself after watching this video, as you'll be getting your hands on some seriously high quality effects for free. You also don't need to make an account or sign up or anything like that in order to grab them. GarageBand is only compatible with the audio unit or AU plugin format, so make sure you select the Mac AU option here. The plugins will then begin downloading. This will end up in your download folder depending on what browser you're using. I'm using Safari here. Once it's done downloading, find it where it's downloaded to, then click on the installer file and then double click on the package file to begin installation. Depending on what version of macOS you're running, you may get a security message blocking the install of these plugins. You can approve the installation of the plugins by heading to your Mac's preferences, clicking on security and privacy, and selecting allow apps downloaded from App Store and identify developers. You'll need to enter your password here too. All of this license agreement stuff is fantastic if you're having trouble getting to sleep at night. Taking the time to read through this will have you dropping off in no time. You can, however, just click through and agree to all this stuff without worrying about legitimate plugin developers stealing your identity or something. With all of that out of the way and your shiny new plugins installed on your Mac, open GarageBand. Before going any further, you need to check that you actually have audio units turned on. To do this, open GarageBand's preferences menu, navigate to the audio tab, and make sure the allow audio units checkbox is checked. This is actually unchecked by default when you first install GarageBand. I have no idea why. Now select the track you want to apply your plugin to and open Smart Controls, either by clicking the icon at the top of GarageBand's window or by using the keyboard shortcut B. Click on the plugins drop down menu here and the list that pops up, navigate to the audio units option, then hover over Blue Cat and then select one of the plugins that came with your free pack. I'll select the excellent free amp plugin here. And there is Blue Cat's free amp plugin loaded up and ready to use in GarageBand. And that's how easy it is to download and install plugins in GarageBand for Mac. Let me know your favourite third party plugins down in the comments and if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And for more information on how to get started with using GarageBand on your Mac, watch this next.